Welcome guys to another GeoGuessr tips video and this one will be a little bit different. A lot of you wanted me to make area specific tip videos so this one will be about Latin America. Some of the tips I have already told you guys, some of the tips will be new but the format will be a little bit different. I will show you the location and then I will explain my thought process how I would uh, use these tips to figure out which uh, of the Latin American countries this is. So let's go. Okay guys, this is the first location. Let's look around what tips can we see. The first tip that uh, we see in this location would be the yellow plate. We see at least one yellow plate. We can look around, we see another yellow plate right here. So that is a good indication that this is Colombia. Uh, we are seeing qu uh, multiple yellow plates. In the distance we also see Pare. Pare is uh, used on stop signs in South America, while in Central America they use Alto. So that's a good, a good way to dis uh, distinguish Latin America from Central America. And we see no antenna on the Google car. In Colombia you sometimes don't get an antenna on the Google car. So uh, those are all good indications that this would be Colombia. We also have some text. If you can distinguish Spanish and Portuguese, uh, then you would see that this is Spanish. So that's also another clue that this isn't Brazil, for example. So we can safely go and guess Colombia right here. So second location, we immediately notice that we have a black car right here. In uh, Latin America, you will have a black car in either Peru, Argentina or Uruguay. So this is either one of those countries. If we pay a closer attention to the license plates, we can notice that we have these sort of what's looking like a black dot in the middle, uh, which would indicate that we are in Argentina. If you look around and you see no, uh, no black dots on the plates uh, with a car looking like this, then it is uh, more likely Uruguay, or sometimes it could be Peru as well. Next location, this is Colombia again, and let me show you all of the tips here. We have a doggo, of course, uh, but we have this Colombian cross. You will have this Colombian cross in uh, on most of the Colombian signs. It will look like this, like a white cross on the back of the sign. That's a good clue. Another good clue is that many of the cars will have yellow plates, uh, as, uh, as you have in Colombia. Uh, this short, stubby antenna... It sometimes, as you could see uh, in the previous one location, sometimes you don't have this antenna, but if you do have it, it is either Colombia, Mexico, Ecuador or Brazil. One of those four countries with this small antenna. And also this pole, this octagonal pole, you mostly see them in Mexico, but you can sometimes also see them in Colombia. So with all of these clues, this is Colombia for sure. So let's guess it. And it is. Next location, we immediately see this lovely taxi. If you see this taxi, it means that you are in Mexico City. But if you look around, we see some other clues. Back here, we have this Mexican pole. As I just mentioned, you see these octagonal poles in Mexico a lot. And also, we have Generation 4 camera right here. And with Generation 4 camera in Latin America, it can either be Mexico, Argentina or Brazil. And taking into account all of the other clues that I just uh, told you guys, we are safe to guess Mexico City. In this location we have the black car again, and as I said, it could either be Peru, Argentina or Uruguay. This time it will be Peru, because we have these railings with black and yellow stripes. You see, I'm pretty sure you see them only in Peru, and you also get these poles, which are mostly found in Peru, the black and white stripy Peruvian poles. So these three hints. And of course the landscape also looks very Peruvian, so we are safe to guess Peru. Okay, so sixth location, we can see this lovely pole right here, this triangular type of pole with these horizontal sections. As you can see, it is very typical in Brazil. And also, as you can see, we have these uh, signs with the black backs, one right here and one right here. Those are also very indicative of Brazil, so we can guess Brazil. Oh, and by the way, we also have Generation 4. As I just said, it's, uh, Brazil is one of the options if you have Gen 4 camera. 
Next location, we have quite a lot of tips right here. First of all, we have this taxi right here with this orange plate. You will see taxis like this in Chile. Those are typical Chilean taxis. Also, these are the Chilean poles. They are kind of similar to Brazilian ones. However, they uh, won't have these horizontal lines like vast majority of the time. So they are very similar, but without those horizontal lines. Uh, stripes in the middle. Another tip that this is Chile is that we only have white road lines. In other uh, South American and Latin American countries, you will often have yellow, one or double yellow lines in the middle. In Chile, you will mostly see white lines. Sometimes there can be some yellow lines in snowy regions, but mostly they will be white. Also, this is the uh, typical Chilean car. You will have white cars usually in either Chile or Bolivia, but I feel like if you have a car like this, where you can see like a black uh, black part right here, uh, I don't think Bolivia has it. I think it's only in Chile. Next location, we have a white car here as well. I forgot to mention that Peru can also have a white car. So either Chile, Bolivia or Peru. So with a white car, this could be one of those three countries. We have this clothing. I have noticed that uh, you see a lot of this traditional clothing in Bolivia. So, and of course, the red brick buildings. Red brick buildings are also very common in Bolivia. Sometimes you can see them in Peru. But with, uh, with this traditional clothing and the white car, I would lean more towards Bolivia on this one. And I mean, since I made this map, I know it is. In this location, we have this solid yellow line in the middle and dashed white line next to to it. It can be either Argentina or Uruguay in terms of South America. Uh, if we turn around, we can see that the road line becomes like this with two yellow solid lines and the dashed line in the middle. You can have this combination in Uruguay. It can sometimes look similar when the lines are overpainted, but uh, they are supposed to look like this in Uruguay. Also, a clue about Uruguay is that we have these thick wooden poles on these signs. You will get these also only in Uruguay. We have this uh, Google car, which can be found in Guatemala. And also, another tip is that we have Alto sign. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, you will have Alto signs in Central America and South America will have Pare on the signs. The final few tips might not be as common as the others, but they can still come in handy. Uh, if you see a Google car looking like this, it can be either red or white with this antenna and the roof racks. It means that you are in US Virgin Islands. It can be either up here or, or this island. If you ever find yourself in a Spanish-speaking location where the cars have no front plates, it's a good clue you might be in Puerto Rico. You can also pay attention to the antenna, which will be right here by the side of the Google car, like a thin and long antenna. So it's also an indication that you are in Puerto Rico. If you ever get a coverage like this, taken by a trekker or a pedestrian, uh, it's a good clue that you might be in Costa Rica. You don't get it too often, but uh, if you do get it, then it should be in San Jose. You can find this Google car with these bars with a black strip in the middle in Dominican Republic. The other Latin American countries will not have a Google car like this. And if you're about to guess Dominican Republic, keep in mind that only two cities have coverage there. It is either Santo Domingo or Santiago de los Caballeros. And the final location with these lovely doggos and this black Google car would indicate that we are in Curaçao. Uh, you will get also these bars, but they will not have that black strip that you had in Dominican Republic. So that's a good way to distinguish between those two. I hope you guys found this video useful. A playlist with more tips will appear on your screen shortly. Thanks to all of the members for supporting this channel. Click on that join button if you would like to become a member yourself. I hope you have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another and see you in the next video.